Let's use Multidynamic 7 to tune the sound of this raw drum track. Normally, we'd do this in the context of a mix, but for demonstration purposes, this is a solo stereo drum track. We'll start with a three band setup chosen from the factory presets, and then I'm going to add another band to give us a total of four. First, we'll adjust the bands to separate parts of the kit and use the side chain monitor to do that. The low band, up to around 200 Hz, covers the meat of the kick drum. From there, up to around 1K covers the lower end of the kick beater and the main body of the snare. The next band will set up from 1K up to around 4.5 kHz. That covers the ring of the snare and the high of the kick beater. The remaining high band covers the high hats and higher frequencies of the snare. Next, we'll use the all bands wheel control of the high gain parameter, effectively setting a starting range for the whole spectrum. We'll start around minus 7 dB. With the focus on the low end, we'll beef up the kick drum a little. I'll drag the orange threshold handle down until we start to get a little compression on this band. The ratio will set at around 3 to 1. Attack around a millisecond. And release around 130 milliseconds. The low gain will increase to around 2 dB. This is effectively a makeup gain while used like this. Next, we'll open up the body of the snare a bit. Again, a threshold of around minus 18 dB to start, but a higher ratio of around 6 to 1. High gain will drag down to around minus 13 dB and low gain around minus 0.5 dB. Attack is a bit quicker at around a quarter of a millisecond and release around 20 milliseconds. The effect is quite subtle, but if I bypass that band, you'll hear the snare has a slightly more open sound. The next band up will give both the snare and kick some cut through in a mix, increasing the ring of the snare and the high end click of the beta. We'll go with a lower threshold here of around minus 30 dB, a ratio of between 2 and 3 to 1, and high gain will set around minus 9 dB. Attack around 1 millisecond, and release closer to 200 milliseconds. Low gain will make up to around 3.5 dB. If I solo that band and then AB it by bypassing the processing, you'll hear how much more open the ringing sound of the snare is. And finally, let's remove some of the harshness of the hi-hats. First, let's drag the threshold down until the harshness is gone. Around minus 30 dB sounds okay. Ratio we'll leave at 4 to 1 for now. Attack around 1.5 milliseconds and release around 120 milliseconds to return a little natural feel to the sound. Again, we'll solo the band to hear the change in isolation. We'll narrow the range that is processed on this band and to do that, we'll set the low gain around minus 2 dB and the high gain around minus 4 dB. The green band indicates the range of the audio affected, and on this band the processor is acting a little more like a regular EQ high shelf filter, but with a touch of compression. 
Finally, we can hear the overall effect of the processing by switching the processor off or using the AB button to switch to the B setup, which is still at default setting as we've not used that facility in this video. So there's no processing.